Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another edition of Fixed Blade Friday. Uh, today we're going to be looking at an Uncle Henry knife and I have to thank Uncle Henry. They sent me out a bunch of knives so we'll be reviewing those as they go. Uh, so this is the first of the fixed blades and here is the uh, part number for it. Uh, 110092. This knife is also listed as the 301UH. And so what we're looking at is a detail skinner. Uh, it comes in this nice leather sheath. And as you see on the uh, little pull tab there, it's got a button that says Schrade. Uh, Schrade being uh, part of Uncle Henry and Old Timer and Imperial and Hammer brand and all those other good knives. So here's what we're looking at is basically a detail skinner, but also I think it kind of falls into the bird and trout model also. Uh, nice little uh, blade. You got these uh, nice thumb ramp here and a uh, finger choil. So you can really choke up and you know get in there for some detailed work or detail skinning. Uh, I think this makes a perfect EDC blade myself uh, for a uh, EDC fixed blade. It's really nice. We have the uh, next gen Staglon handles and a lanyard tube. If you like lanyards, you can definitely put one on there. Uh, I think this is just a really cool looking knife. And I really like the sheath and how it carries. Uh, this thing is, you know, perfect. Uh, you don't even notice it really when it's on your hip. But what we're looking at is a knife that is six and a half inches overall length, which definitely puts it into bird and trout territory for me. Uh, three and a quarter inch blade and 2.5 ounces in weight. So this is just a nice, light, handy, you know, good all around knife. I think that this would work just as well uh, not just in the skinning task, you know, or detail skinning with this really nice drop point blade that it has. Uh, but I think this could be a, an excellent, you know, like I said, camp knife, you know, just having it on you for an EDC, throw it in your tackle box or your toolbox if you needed a, a knife at some point for some task. I think that this is plenty of blade, uh, three and a quarter inches, you know, it's the same as a uh, same as a trapper, you know. So there you go. Uh, but yes, just a, a really nice, uh, really nice knife. Very comfortable, uh, full tank construction, and the blade is made of seven uh, CR seventeen MOV steel. Which, uh, for a real quick uh, update on that steel, uh, it's a uh, modified version of four forty A. Uh, but it has a little extra uh, chromium in it, I guess, uh, which gives it more corrosion resistance. Uh, they're easily sharpened, but uh, if it's easily sharpened, you know you'll have to touch up the edge a little more often than uh, something that had a harder uh, steel. But for an outdoor knife, I think this is a perfect uh, steel because you know you want something that's going to give you high rust resistance. Uh, you know, and if you have to touch it up out there, then you can use anything that you're going to find, you know, if it's a river rock or the bottom of a cup or, you know, the, the window, uh, if you roll down the window on your, on your car or your truck, you can strop it on there and, you know, get this thing back in action. So, you know, there's lots of, lots of good things to say about it. And, you know, some people like that, some people don't. Anyways, here's your uh, tank stamping. You got Uncle Henry and script and uh, Schrade there. Uh, and here is your part number. Uh, once again, I think knives like this are really coming on strong. Uh, I think the EDC fixed blade is definitely uh, something that's on the rise. A lot of people are, are liking that. And like I said, with this little sheath here, uh, this thing was so comfortable uh, to where you just don't even think about it being there. It's like, you know, it's just, it's just there. And the Staglon looks good. Oops. Oh, there we go. 
throwing it out. I did a, I did a KC. Ugh. Wow. Threw everything out of alignment. Dang. Let's see. Did we break it? Did we chip it? Nope, of course not. This is the first time I've done that. <laughs> Believe it or not, you saw it here almost live. Uh, let's see. Let's check out our handle. It's uh, it's good. We don't got any cracks. Uh, nope, nope. We're good. We survived. It survived the drop test, boys. There you go. So the, the toughness is there. Uh, just remember, when you drop a knife, let it go to the floor because a, a falling knife has no handle as they say, and it's easy to uh, get in trouble with that. So that's your, that's your safety tip of the day. <laughs> Keeping it good and loose on a fixed blade Friday, right? Whew. All right, boys. <laughs> oh, that made me laugh. I'm sorry. I crack myself up sometimes, but you know that. Anyways, uh, that is it for today. We're gonna we're gonna just stop now before somebody gets hurt, and of course that somebody's probably gonna be me. So I hope you guys have a fantastic Friday. Have a great weekend. If you have a chance, come stop by RJ's Lives on uh, Sunday. We get together 10:30 uh, a.m. Pacific time, and I have a uh, little roundtable. I get some other YouTube channels on there, and uh, you know. It's just a, a good time. We just have fun. It's all about it's all about knives and, and having a good time. So if you guys are interested, you know, please uh, stop by, and I definitely look forward to seeing you there. So if you do come over, uh, be sure to participate in the chat so we know you're there. But let me know what you think of little knives like this. I I think this is a perfect EDC fixed blade, but uh, you know, you guys uh, let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know uh, if you like stuff like this. I, I think I do. I Well, you know I do. I like bird and trout knives. And I think this definitely fits in that category, even though they call it a skinner. And I, I can see why it's designed to be a skinner. But uh, but I think it's a, it's a good all-around knife, at least in my book. So that's it for this one. I will definitely see you guys on Sunday. Have a good one, folks.